Hi there! This is a short video explaining some of the differences between Office 2000 and Office 2010. Most of the videos you see when learning Microsoft Office may use the Office 2007 version, but for the purposes of your course, most differences will be unimportant regarding the learning of Word, Excel, Access, or PowerPoint. All of the Office applications have had improvements or new functions added to them for Office 2010. The most visible change that we have to deal with is the addition of the file menu or tab as a new feature called Backstage View. This file menu replaces the Office button that was used in Office 2007. As you can see here in Word 2010, we have a blue file menu tab in the top left hand corner of the screen. Clicking the file menu is a bit different than clicking the tabs like the Home tab or the Insert tab. When I click the file menu, the backstage view takes up the whole screen. I can do normal file operations such as create new files, save the current file, use save as to change the file name and location of the current file, as well as open and close files. There is also an easier way to view a print preview of your document. Simply click the file and then click print. Simply click the file menu and then click print and instead of printing the document right away or bringing up the printer dialog box like Office 2007 and older versions, you can see a preview of how your document will look before you print it. You can still choose all the settings you might want such as page size, orientation, double-sided printing and collation, but you can just press the print button at the top of this or you can just press the print button at the top of the screen. If you don't want to really print your document, you can click on the home tab, any of the other tabs, or just press the escape key in the top left corner of your keyboard. Another neat thing about the ribbon in Office 2010 is the addition of the minimize ribbon button on the right hand side of the screen. Use this if you want to hide the ribbon to see more of your document. The ribbon will come back temporarily when you choose a tab name, but will fade again when you have completed your action. I have a special technique for you before we move on. If you want to have a quick access to functions that you use a lot, one option is to add them to the Quick Access Toolbar, which is here just above the File menu at the top of the screen. For example, I'm going to add the command to create a new document to the Quick Access Toolbar because it's something I do all the time. First, click the black arrow beside the Quick Action Toolbar. Some people call it the QAT, or QUAT. Then, select More Commands. From the window that pops up, you can look into the list on the left-hand side, which shows popular commands, and find the, file, the new file icon. Select it, then move it to the right-hand side, which shows the commands in the QAT, by clicking the Add button. Then click OK. You can use the same technique to add your own favorite buttons, or even access some of your own macros if you have any. Let's switch over to Excel 2010 and see how it looks. You can see that the ribbon at least looks very similar to the one in Word. The ribbon works and looks the same across all applications in the Office 2010 suite of applications, unlike in Office 2007 where some of the programs did not use the ribbon. We can see that we still have a file menu, this time it's green, we still have our backstage view, and we can still use it to save and create new documents, preview our file before printing, and we can even customize the QAT here too. The ribbon looks identical between Word, Office. The ribbon looks identical between Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. So now that you know how to use the ribbon, you'll be able to use these features in all of the Office applications in the Office 2010 suite. I hope you enjoyed the video.